What's going on guys? Blitz here with the Survival Outpost. I have waited a long time to make this video because it's always been my primary driving purpose to keep my YouTube channel as apolitical as possible because politics are a massive distraction from my primary goals. But yesterday when I saw Thomas Jefferson's statue being torn down and defaced and vandalized and every single day when I see riots and looting and murder and widespread civil unrest across this nation, I just couldn't take it anymore, okay? Because I know that this situation is scary. I know that it makes people fearful and rightfully so as you see your entire history being seemingly erased in front of your eyes. It's very hard to deal with, but I have a solution to deal with this for you to maintain your sanity and still accomplish the goals and survive this and come out a better person. So fair warning to anybody watching who doesn't like harsh language. I am a former Marine and the F word is just part of my vocabulary. Even though I've been a civilian for a long time, it may pop up from time to time. So that's the warning. Let's go ahead and jump into the content. So the biggest problem here in my mind, apart from all the looting and rioting and murder and civil unrest, is the lying, dishonest media machine that will shove their propaganda down your throat on a daily basis if you allow them. And if you give in to them and you listen to them, you will end up feeling hopeless and fearful. And fear is the mind killer. And it feels like you just can't do anything against this wave of terror that's sweeping our entire freaking nation. It is scary, and if you're not scared, then maybe you're really not paying attention. When you are ruled by your emotions, your actions or reactions to a perceived threat are not yours. You're simply reacting based on emotion without any sort of logic or rationale behind it, and you see this on a daily basis. Certain YouTube channels out there don't make the situation any better with constant nonstop talk of Civil War Round 2 and what it's going to take to pull the trigger on your fellow American. Honestly, guys, I don't know why they do it. Maybe it's for views. Some of these channels are so big, so I know they're not doing it for the money. Maybe they honestly believe this narrative. And maybe that's true. Maybe this whole narrative that's being driven by the mainstream media and YouTube channels and other people in positions of influence is true. Maybe we will have Civil War. Maybe there'll be a race war. But all I know right now is I don't give a flying fuck what your skin color is. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic. If you love America, I will stand with you and fight with you for it. I don't give in to this racist bullshit. I judge people based on my interactions with them. And initially, I will give you a level of respect and dignity until you give me reason not to. Now, some of you may feel compelled to join the protest or maybe join the counter protest or just get out in the streets and let your voice be heard. And sure, you can do that. That's your First Amendment right. Those are your rights. You can get out there and do that. And a former me, a couple years back, would have already been in the streets. And I've been there, done that. And people who know me in real life, who've been there with me, know that whole situation and know what usually happens as an outcome of such actions. So if you feel like sacrificing yourself by going out to the street and protesting, go for it. More power to you. Maybe you'll be just fine. Maybe you won't. But maybe step back and look at the ramifications that might come from you just defending yourself against like an actual legitimate threat. You might end up in prison for three to five years based on the color of your skin and based on your political views and based on who the DA is and who the sheriff is in the town that you got arrested in. Is it really worth it? Where are your efforts best directed? Are they directed to get out in the street and let your ego and your emotions take control and feel like you're changing the world? Well, guess what? You know what they say? You wanna change the world, change yourself. And really when it boils down to it, the stoic mindset is all about changing yourself and really looking at situations and saying, can I control this? Yes. Well, then I need to be all about controlling it and affecting change. Can I not control it? Then I need to step back and not worry about that situation or at least not let myself be driven insane by external factors that I literally have no control over. 
So if that's you and you want to get on the streets and do that, more power to you. But if you want a different solution and an actual sustainable solution that is going to prepare you for maybe possible civil war or maybe a mob showing up at your doorstep trying to burn down your house, I have a better way. Number one, keep your mouth shut. Nobody asks for your opinion. I feel like there's so many people out there today who just feel compelled to jump on social media and just give their opinion and then they don't understand why there's such massive backlash. Well, I'll tell you because you're arguing with people who are so far to the right or so far from the left of who you are that you will never convince them of anything. They are also operating on emotion just like yourself. So number one, keep your mouth shut. Number two, keep your plans and your intentions to yourself or at least confined within your inner circle. Get out and train. Get out in the woods. Practice your wilderness survival skills. Go out in the city and practice your urban survival skills. Go shoot some guns. Maybe take a break from it all and just go camping for the weekend with your family like I just did. But most importantly, above all, disconnect from the media propaganda machine. You have a choice. Nobody is forcing you to sit in a chair and tune in to CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, or, oh, God forbid, Drudge Report, which is literally screaming the end of the world every single freaking day. You have a choice of whether you want, of whether you need to engage with that thing or not engage with that thing. And I choose to disengage. That's how I stay sane and I stay in control. So all I gotta say, guys, is use some common sense. Use rational thinking, and I know that's hard to do, and I find it very hard to do sometimes myself as well when I see everything that I hold dear being torn down in front of me, but we have to stay sane, we have to stay rational, and we have to focus on things that we can actually control. So like I said, if you want to change the world, start by changing yourself, start by doing and acting in a way that affects change upon you and when you change yourself people see that change around you and they change and that's how you make changes in the world so stay safe out there boys and girls and brace yourself for a long hot summer show your support for the channel by checking out the wide range of survival gear available at thesurvivaloutpost.com we stock only top quality, rugged, tactical equipment and apparel designed to support any mission or situation life may throw your way. Any gear you've seen in this video is linked up down there in the pin post and be sure to check out the suggested videos for more real world survival content and training.